If in the last couple of weeks or months you've done any research on studying in Germany either for a bachelor's or a master's program as a non-EU international student, then you've probably come across the phrase blocked account on multiple occasions. By the end of today's video, you're going to have all the information that you need to open your blocked account as I will even recommend one blocked account service provider that I personally used when I was applying for my German student visa. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just trying to use these videos to creatively pass on important information that I wish I had when I was first planning to come and study here in Germany without wasting too much of your time. If you find this video useful, feel free to leave a like and a comment and oh yeah, a sub would also be highly appreciated. First things first, let's understand what a blocked account is and why it's required for your German student visa. Essentially, a blocked account is a special type of bank account that ensures that you have the financial means to cover your living expenses while studying in Germany. It is actually referred to as proof of finance on the list of requirements international students have to meet in order to get a student visa to be allowed to study here in Germany. If you want to learn more about all the requirements that non-EU international students have to meet in order to obtain the German student visa, after you're done watching today's episode, check out this video where I explain these 11 requirements in 11 minutes. Another important point to note is that the German government sets the minimum amount that must be deposited into this blocked account. This means that you have to transfer this amount from your personal current or savings bank account to a German blocked account while you are still in your home country. Speaking of the minimum amount, it is important to note that this figure can vary. As of the date of posting this video, the minimum amount currently required is around 11,208 euros. This money is meant to cover your expenses for one year in Germany. It is basically a precautionary measure to ensure that you can sustain yourself without relying on public funds. One last important thing to note is that once you land in Germany, you will need to open a current account in a German bank, preferably in the city where you will be residing in, so that you can be receiving this money in equal amounts for the next 12 months. So from the 11,208 euro, you will be receiving 934 euro every month until the money in your blocked account runs out. Hence why the term blocked is used. Now, before I tell you my recommendation for a blocked account service provider, let's talk about the documentation required to successfully open a blocked account. All you need to start this process is your passport, an acceptance letter from the university that you're going to study at, the minimum amount of money set by the German government, and I guess an internet connection because everything is done online. And now for the moment that you've been waiting for and probably the reason why you clicked on the video in the first place, my number one recommendation for a blocked account service provider is... Fintiba. They have this package called Fintiba Plus, which is a combination of multiple services such as the blocked account, the travel health insurance, and the general health insurance, which are all requirements for the German student visa application. If you want to find out what all the requirements for this German student visa application are, check out this video, link in the description down below. For the sake of full transparency, Fintiba does charge an initial fee of 89 euro and charges 4 euro 90 every month, which may seem like a lot of money at first, 
but it really isn't considering the value that you are getting in return. You can imagine the stress of having to apply for your blocked account, travel health insurance, and general health insurance separately before having to go through the strenuous process of applying for your German student visa. I would also like to mention that Fintiba is not the only blocked account service provider out there. There are many others that offer comparable products, but before choosing them, I advise that you do your own research. The reason why I highly recommend Fintiba is simply because I have personally used them and didn't encounter any challenges whatsoever through the entire process. And once more, I would like to reiterate that I am not sponsored by them. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to understanding and navigating the blocked account requirement for the German student visa. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time, 